Hey friends, it's Pastor Keith, the fearless leader and founder of Journey Church. From our inception, we dreamed of being a church for people who don't like church. I know it may sound like an oxymoron, like something that doesn't make sense. We want to be a church for people who don't go to church. But from the beginning, we sought to be a church like Jesus. Constantly, Jesus hung out with people who were not like Him, yet they liked Him. Our dream has always been to see hope for everyone, not just the few, but that we would reach the people who are far from God. Our journey started in February 2010. We started at Bend High School with just about 100 people. Now that was a small group of people in a large auditorium. We didn't just stay at Bend High School, we eventually ended up at the Regal Cinemas. It was there that we had our first ever spontaneous baptism in the Deschutes River. Well, we went from the Regal Cinemas at the Old Mill back to Bend High School. Here we were, a small struggling church, looking at where would be the best place for us to meet. You know, the story of Journey Church actually didn't start with our first church service. It started with a dream. In 2005, our family moved to Bend and we had no money, we had no friends, and we had a brand new baby. We were driving by this street, Newport Avenue, when we saw this building for sale. The problem is we didn't have any money, but we had bold prayers and big dreams, and we knew this would be a great place for a church. We actually parked our car, walked up the stairs, peeked into the windows and said one day this would be a great place to have church. All we had was a little hope and a dream, but Jesus says all it takes is the faith of a mustard seed to move mountains. Eventually, God will fulfill our dreams and we would move to this location. But we wouldn't move upstairs quite yet. We started off downstairs. We were known as the Church Under the Nightclub. We transformed a strip club into a sanctuary. We eventually bought the entire building, but then we outgrew it. And that's when we discovered God could do more. We sold the building, believing God's best is still yet to come. In the past 13 years, we've witnessed God do more than we can imagine. We've planted Journey Church in Redmond. They've seen so many lives changed and they continue to do more. We've helped plant a church in Iganga, Uganda. We've partnered with the City Church in Luzira, Uganda. We sponsor hundreds of kids in Uganda. But locally, I, I can't believe what God has done through our kids, through our teenagers, and not just with babies, but baby boomers as well. We have seen hundreds of lives changed by Jesus. Not hundreds, thousands, thousands of lives changed by Jesus. Kara, Kara, what do you love that God has been doing in 13 years here? Well, I love that. Just the transformation stories are just amazing to yes. see God, people go from hopeless and broken to full of hope. It's been just beautiful. But also what I really love right now in this season is I have loved watching the kids be a part of the church. The kids are not the future church, the kids are the church. And I think that um, we are actually seeing that in our midst right now, that, that journey, our journey kids are just rising up and they are prayer warriors and they are a part of our church. I mean, all three of our kids got baptized here. They're teenagers and they're an uh, integral Serving part of the ministry. church here. So I just love seeing the, the future generation rise up in our, in our midst. I love that. The kids are not the future church, kids are the church and we are believing God's best. We're believing there's more. There truly is hope for everyone. God is calling us to more more in our city, more in our day, more in our time. We are taking God at His word. In Ephesians 3.20, it says, Now to Him who is able to do more. He's able to do abundantly 
more. We're believing that, that our city needs more faith, more hope, more love in Jesus. We're believing that more lives are gonna be saved by Jesus. We're believing more marriages are gonna be restored by Jesus. We're believing that God has just gotten started with Journey and with you. So what does that mean? We are starting a two-year generosity initiative called MORE. We're believing that God is gonna call us to more in our day and in our time. We've got a threefold goal. Number one, we wanna strengthen our ministry. Currently, we're witnessing God do so much in different areas. We're witnessing God work through our kids and we are over capacity. Our services are full every single Sunday. We are seeing God move within our teenagers where they're getting baptized and they're serving Jesus. We're seeing God do so much. We're in the prisons at Deer Ridge Prison and we're believing God's gonna get us into every prison. But to do that, it takes money. Our current operating budget is $2.5 million. So for two years, that's $5 million we need to strengthen our ministry. Second is we wanna seize ministry. God has given us the opportunity for 10,000 additional square feet in our current location. That will allow us to expand our sanctuary to get more than 100 new seats. In addition to that, all new kids' classrooms. This will help us grow our families to do more ministry with our kids and small groups throughout the week. But to do that, there's a cost. It's gonna be $2 million for construction costs, for city fees, and all the renovations that we need to do this ministry. Not only do we wanna strengthen ministry and seize ministry, we wanna secure ministry. God has been so faithful in allowing us to purchase 38 acres in the fastest growing location in Bend. We currently owe $4.6 million on our mortgage on the 38 acres. We're believing we're gonna pay it off. Even more, we're believing that God's gonna do great work on this property. We're not just gonna be a church in our city, we're gonna be a church for our city. So over the next two years, we're gonna strengthen ministry, we're gonna seize ministry, and we're gonna secure our future, believing God's best, that He's gonna do more Imagine the opportunities that are gonna happen right here. So to secure our future, we need to eradicate that debt of $4.6 million over the next two years. I believe God can do it, but what we're asking is 100% participation. And I literally mean that. We want every child, teenager, and adult to be a part of more. We're asking you to pray more, to give more, to engage more, to sacrifice more, and believe more that God is able to do this. So would you join me, join us together to see God do more in our city through our church. So I'm asking you to pray. I'm asking you to seek God. What is this gonna look like for us? What is this gonna look like for me to sacrifice and see God work through us as a church in this more generosity initiative.